Alright, hello, GampNowHow.com and YouTube. Welcome to another Dark Illusionist tutorial. Um, I got a lot of bad press for my last tutorial. I heard it was really bad. I heard I should give credit to the original makers of the tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be doing this fancy glow effect for you. Fancy glow effects is even called fancy. Um, so I'm going to be making this effect right here. Um, this t uh, tutorial can be found at gtuts.com. Um, they make some really good tutorials. I'm going to be doing all of the ones I have, even the ones I don't particularly like. So anyway, this is our end product, and you can find the thing for it at gtuts.com. Alright, to start off, you go File, New, make a 600 by 400 pixel thing. Then what you do is you take your gradient tool, you select incandescent, make sure it's reversed, and set the shape on radial. Then find the very center. We can find it. We will find it. Almost at it and then you hold down control and you drag to the bottom and you just go to the bottom then what you do what you do is you go up to filters <laughs> distorts and then you go ripple and you just leave the settings alone it should look kind of arabian sunny if that's even a word and then you go I can't remember. I'll check on the tutorial. You go filters, distorts, whirl, and pinch. And you make the whirl angle about 360, and then you make the rest of them the default settings. Um, some people think that I don't, like I pause the video to check on the thing, in case I need a refresh, of course, because I don't want them taking credit. I do want them taking credit. I'm just doing this to spread stuff around the web. It's just that I want to save time because I am a talker, as you can tell by that long monologue I just did. Then what you do is you go up to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Sorry if my mic's really bad. You make the length 150. And motion blurring does take a bit of a while, so I'm going to pause that until that's done. And then it goes, and so it should look really nice right now. What you do is you go real fast, and you click on FD4000 as the HTML notation. <coughs> Sorry about that. And you should get this really kind of sharp orange. Um, if you need to pause that and go do that, um, do it now. Then what you do is you take the paths tool and just kind of make a two-part line. Drag it around as you needed and just kind of make a S. Yeah. Then you go here and click stroke path and do stroke line solid color and the line width should be about six. And what you do is you do the switch them around and go stroke path and this time you make the thing about three pixels. Stroke path. And that should give you a little line center. Whoops, that's not what you do. <laughs> Sorry if I lied earlier guys. I know this is gonna start turning into my old tutorial. But um you make a new layer under the original path, then you click stroke path from six. Then you then you go filters, blur, gosh and blur, and blur that by about twelve. Then make a new layer on top of that. Um, switch the colors around real fast. Stroke path by around three. And then while well, you have your white layer selected, go filters, blur, gosh and blur, and blur it by around one. So it's kind of blurred, but not super blurred. Then what you do is you merge these layers by doing merge down. And then you um, add layer mask. And I'm going to maximize that and kind of go down here. And we don't want the path tool anymore. We want to do the freeform select. And we're just going to select around the bottom. 
whatever. Convert it into a selection. Um, then you take the gradient tool and you just go up and choose foreground to background RGB. Unreverse it, if that's a word. Um, set it to like the default settings linear, FG to BG, RGB, and black and white. And then just sort of stroke from the end to the line, like this. And so it kind of has that nice fade out effect. Let's press Control Shift A or select none. And then do the same thing to the other end. And if you need me to do that, I'll do it on this line, but not on any of the other ones. Um, you just select around the end. Enter. <laughs> Take the gradient tool. And stroke. Then what you do is, we need, yeah, we do need multiple lines. And so, we're going to draw something like that. Gonna get that centered again. So yeah, just kind of make a nice curving effect. Um, select the foreground color, and it should be saved right in there as that. Oh well, I can't change it now. And then go stroke path. Do six pixels again. Whoops, we're still on our layer mask, aren't we? Um, make a new layer on top of that, then go stroke path, six pixels, and then go filters, blur, gush, and blur by 12, new layer on top of that, filters, oh no, I lied, stroke path, three filters, blur, Gaussian Blur by one. Merge them down. Um, if you guys want, um, for those of you who do know the rest of it, you can go ahead and skip forward. This will likely be a two-part tu tutorial. Um, it is very long, but it is a fun one, guys. Trust me on this. It's going to look really good. And then we add Layer Mask. And so, yeah. Um, if you don't know how to um, fade out the ends, then go back later in the tutorial, and I'll come back once I've done that. By the way, guys, a quick note. Um, you can select over any of the other ones. This layer mask is just on that layer, in case you didn't know. Alright guys, now that you've got this line, I'm sorry if that was playing the entire time. Um, anyway, so, make your line. <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, I'll just make a new tutorial um, in addition to this one, so check back in a bit.